August 17, 2009, Monday, trying to give you an update, as I will try to do each Monday. Won't be every Monday, but if I can. And last week was a great week. We had a great prayer meeting on last Monday. We'll be going there here in just a couple hours to Holy Trinity to pray with them about the work that's going on around uh, the area, plus families and just personal issues. It's just a great prayer meeting. There were about 50 people there last Monday. We had a uh, outreach on Tuesday down in Brelia, Zone 12, that went extremely well. Costel, Marius, Mihai took the lead. No Americans on their own went into uh, Lackle Dulce, worked with the pastor there. Went very well. I was very impressed with their uh, outcome. They, they found a couple families uh, that want to do Bible studies, and we hope to connect with the local church down there. There's some problems right now regarding uh, authority and uh, what you might call territory. Paul had these same problems, and we don't want to uh, make the matters worse, but we do want to reach people for Christ down there in Zone 12 of Brelia. Um, Wednesday didn't do much. Thursday we had a uh, trumpet call that went extremely well, invited some people from a couple churches, and went out and had some good conversations. I talked with my friend now, uh, the repenter that's about my age, 48 years old, up in uh, uh, zone 4. He has invited me to a meeting, which will be this Wednesday. 20 believers that get together, they pray, read their Bible. They have no leader, so to speak. So we might be able to engage that at the National Bible Reading Campaign level and put one of our leaders over there. I hope so. Friday we had our, our meeting in Brelia. Uh, most everybody's on vacation right now, but this uh, Domino Stefan did show up. He did buy a Bible with a leather cover. He's ready for when the serving him comes back. We studied Moses. Uh, judgment, hypocrisy, tradition. We studied uh, Hebrews 10 where we see Christ as the perfect sacrifice that removes our sins and there will be no other and uh, provides a perfect cleansing. We also had a great catechism on Saturday where uh, Pastor Ovi showed up. We had five ladies that started to go through catechism. They gave very good answers, good testimony. Uh, Pastor Ovi asked Vivi, you know, name two things that have changed in your life since you came to Christ. And she said, oh, she said, everything changed in my life since I came to Christ. And began talking to him about how she's wanting to see her relatives be saved. And I thought that was great. And then, and then also we have um, a, a, a guy named Jorge who, who has been saved now a couple months. He prayed for the first time Sunday morning after the service down in the valley for his family, for the people in the valley. It was a great thing to hear him pray, and it was from his heart, no doubt about it. Pray for Jorge that the devil won't take him down. Many guys uh, in this part of the world will come to Christ, and the alcohol issues will bring them back and drown them. So just pray that he'll stay strong. Pray for him. Uh, it's a great blessing to hear him pray. Justin's group wanted to meet uh, Sunday night all night, and uh, he wasn't ready for that, but it was it's cool to see eight or nine uh, Romanian guys show up that are teenagers to 22 years old and wanting to study the Bible. So uh, good for Justin. He's doing well and uh, staying busy. He went to a camp, uh, just had a lot of good things going on. Uh, we had our Level 7 Sunday night, which we saw a guy named George, a younger guy, who uh, he gave his testimony of how he came to Christ recently. I put that on the blog. He said he made the big mistake of just believing with his mind and not in his heart, which is a problem that many, many people have. You have to believe from your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. Uh, this week, we we'll, don't know where we're headed as far as village work on Tuesday or whether we'll go back to Brelia, not certain. Uh, we'll work in Zone 4 on Wednesday. Look forward to seeing that 20, the 20 or so group of people that are meeting there regularly without the leader. There will be a trumpet call in Zone 4 Thursday. Pray for that. Uh, Friday we'll be back to Brelia. So the week in advance is the same as this last week. Just pray for the catechism and uh, post something every morning, reading through the Bible, encouraging people to read their Bible. I'm using the Chronological Bible, New Living Translation. Try to post something that will keep you thinking about uh, Israel's mistakes and the fact that we need to be reading our Bible, we need to be reaching out and, and, and getting the message out to others. Whether they listen or not, that's not our responsibility. We are to tell. So we'd ask that you just continue to pray for the National Bible Reading Campaign. Pray for us. Randy and Teresa will be traveling home shortly. And we pray that you would uh, really, truly undergird them with your prayer cover as they travel and get to see their family. It'll be tough for them coming home or coming back here after being home there. So anyway, lots going on. Pray that you uh, stay with us on the webpage and uh, comment and help us uh, really truly break through here the kingdom of darkness that the light of Jesus Christ would shine and that people might be saved and God's kingdom would be expanding. Amen.